Okay, hello to everyone out there. Today we have another movie English lesson. You can probably see it's Charlie's Angels. The movie hasn't even come out yet as, as of this recording. I have a special guest. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Chloe and I am the special guest again. <laughs> she keeps coming back and we love it. Okay, so let's take a look. What are we doing in this English lesson? Well, we're going to do the movie synopsis. We're going to watch the movie trailer and we're going to do a listening test. This is where you, the viewer, get to listen and see if you understand what they're saying. And we're going to go step by step. Great. Okay, so we're at the movie synopsis. Chloe, what is the movie synopsis? A movie synopsis is when like a mini explanation about the movie. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just uh, right, a brief explanation of what's happening in the movie so they can kind of give us an idea, you know, what, what's going to happen. So let's take a look. All right. Go ahead, read, and then I'll read. When a young systems engineer blows the whistle on a dangerous technology, Charlie's angels are, call, are called into action, putting their lives on the line to protect us all. Mm-hmm. When a young systems engineer blows the whistle on a dangerous technology, Charlie's angels are called into action, putting their lives on the line to protect us all. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the vocabulary in this movie synopsis. Okay, so a young systems engineer, what do you think? I think it is a person that works with computer systems and computer. Uh-huh. Wow, very good. And computer system. All right, could be the network, the framework, the deep interworkings of the connections of the different computer systems. Sure. Okay. All right, now we have blows the whistle. So it's a phrase, blow the whistle. All right, and I guess this would be an idiom because it has an hit, a hidden meaning. What does it mean to blow the whistle? Hide something. Well, someone is hiding something. So we'll say someone is hiding something or some information. And someone and another person uh, tells everyone about it. <laughs> so it's... If we're talking about blowing the whistle, it's probably a serious situation where, like in this situation, it's dangerous technology that maybe could hurt a lot of people. Or maybe the government is misusing money and they're stealing or something like that. And then someone's like, hey, that's not right. And then they tell everyone about it. So that is blowing the whistle. So here the if, Go ahead. If this was like a funny movie, like not so serious, I would be the person that would tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then it's it's also dangerous, right? Because if you blow the whistle, it might be on people that are very powerful, right? It might want to hurt you. But here we go. Charlie's angels are called into action. What is what do you think it means? Called into action. I do not know. Hmm. Well, it means like they're instigated or they're pushed uh, into. Helping out <laughs> and saving the day or saving the person. Uh, so called into action, it means like, they, I think they have like a boss and they say, okay, we have a mission. We need to do this. We're called into action. So it's like to take action, right? Oop, I suppose I can highlight that one. Called into action. All right, next one. Putting their lives on the line. What do you think? So the phrase would be... Like, for example, someone's putting their life on the line, mm -hmm. which means like, mm, they're risking dying. Uh-huh. Risking your life by doing something dangerous. All right. Weird. Like maybe the, the firemen, they put their lives on the line because they run into the bur burning building when everybody's like, ah, get out of here. Right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So putting their lives on the line. Right. 
So go ahead, read it one more time. I'll repeat after you, and then we'll pause for a moment so other people can uh, practice pronunciation. Go ahead. When a young systems engineer blows the whistle on a dangerous technology, Charlie's angels are called into action, putting their lives on the line to protect us all. I'm speechless. Sounds wonderful. When a young systems engineer blows the whistle on a dangerous technology, Charlie's angels are called into action, putting their lives on the line to protect us all. Okay, so I hope you practice your pronunciation. If you didn't, rewind the video and do it. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to, I think we're going to watch the trailer. Da, 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 da. All right, so Sony Pictures, and I got this trailer from Movie Clips Trailers. It's a YouTube channel. Okay, we're going to watch it all the way through, and then we'll talk about it. All right, here we go. Ready, Chloe? Ready. Hello? You're in great danger. Get out of there now! Open safe house six. Welcome to the Townsend Agency. I run a covert group of exceptional women. So you guys are like lady spies. We work outside the rules. I don't like that, boy. In secret, together. You may not know we exist, but we are always watching. Humanitarian aid money. Who are you? You are in the presence of angels. So, you want to train to be an angel? Hell yeah. Give me my wings. Let's go! Where do you think you're going? You need to land this bird, Hoffman. What? down, keep your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. You're adorable. Jane, is that you flirting with a handsome nerd? The best part is in taking down international criminals. It's you guys. And the day drinking. That's what I like the most. <laughs> Take another glass. Oh so I can just take whatever I want? Borrow. Wait, is that an actual rule? Angel. Time to go to work. Okay, so before we get to listening comprehension, let's uh, do our reviews. Right, five stars. What do you think? How many stars does this trailer get? Three. Okay, so let's do one, two, three. All right, and before I ask you to explain it, I'll give it my rating. <laughs> I'm going to give it like two. <laughs> okay, do you want to explain your rating or should I go first? I'm going first. I'm going first. Okay, go ahead. Well, I kind of like the movie since it was, it was action on that stuff, but I think it was a little boring. Tiny mm. bit boring. Okay, is it my turn? I think I would rather watch the trailer than the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it just makes, it's my impression and it depends on people's interest and what they like. To me, it just seems like a movie which I'm going to walk away from and I will be like, I think I just wasted an hour and a half <laughs> of my life. I like to watch movies that make my mind grow and, and challenge me and try to make me learn something new. And I think this would be a cute movie. It probably has some pretty good music. Uh, oh, yeah. But, but I, I don't think it's a movie I, I would, would want to sit through. I'm content yeah. watching the trailer and that's it. They actually have a song behind it. When you actually sing at the end of it, there was uh, three people. Uh, Miley Cyrus, yeah, I'm not going to say the name, but uh, 
they actually have their own song for it. So uh, I think isn't Ariana cool. Grande one of them? Yeah, Ariana Grande, Lana Del Rey, and Miley Cyrus. Interesting. Uh huh. Okay, so we've had higher reviews before, but yeah. I think oh we have to do movie genre. Can you repeat after me? Genre. Genre. Je, je, French. Parlez-vous français? Genre. Okay. So we have all of these different genres, which are basically just like different types, different categories. Where do you think this movie fits? I'll give you the choices. Adventure, action, animation, comedy, crime, drama, fantasy, horror, mystery, romance, sci-fi. What do you think? I think comedy, a tiny bit comedy. Okay. I thought it was a little funny. Okay. What else? Drama. Drama. And crime and action. Let's see. Drama. Do you think crime and drama could go together? No. You want to do extra? Mm -hmm. All right. Crime and drama and action. action. All right. So if we have to pick one, what do you think would be <clears throat> the number one? Action, comedy, crime, or drama? Action. Action. I agree. <gasps> we agree. Uh -huh. All right. So I agree. Comedy, you know, it's trying to make us laugh. Crime. Mm -hmm. Why would you say crime? I would agree. But what would you say? Why? I would say probably because it seems like they're stealing stuff from people, but probably for a reason. Since it's like, uh, um, that, that, the, the, girl with the uh, short hair she was actually um like in gym clothes and then she was like pretending she was like stretching she went down then she took something out of the back huh. and that's what i called it crime i think <clears throat> they're actually trying to stop the criminals so they go on the, yeah so they go on the missions Just a and, bit of crime uh-huh mm -hmm. all right and comedy like when she said about the day drinking oh yeah that's a little bit funny and drama Sure, I suppose because there's you know something tense. There's drama. People arguing. There's a mm -hmm. mystery or something they have to figure out. Okay, all right. So I think we can agree. Action. There's probably going to be a lot of what in the movie. Fighting. <laughs> and explosions, helicopters running around. Karate. Uh huh. Eating sandwiches. <laughs> the lady was eating this. Okay, right. So. I think that's it before we get to the listening comprehension. So I think you have a, you got to go, right? You have a lesson. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. I will see you guys in the listening comprehension and my guest has to leave right now. So I'll see you in just a moment. Okay. So I'm back and it's time to do listening comprehension. So we're going to use the same movie trailer, but we're going to listen to specific parts to make sure we understand what's going on. Okay, so let's start, let's do it right away. We're gonna jump into the first section and I'm gonna repeat it three times. So you can try to understand what it's saying and then I will type what they're saying, okay? So we'll have three, three chances for listening comprehension and then I'll tell you what they're saying, okay? Let's do it. Hello? You're in great danger. Get out of there now. Hello? You're in great danger. Get out of there now. Hello? You're in great danger. Get out of there now. Okay. So first, we have the girl. She answers and she says, hello? And it's kind of with the question mark because it's like, hello? You know, who's there? Who's speaking? And the man says, you're in grave danger. Get out of there now all right and this would be informal english outa just means out of so let's see i'll put it here move this down so outa the correct english would be out of but we know that native english speakers don't always talk correct so here we go let's take a look see if i did it right Hello? You're in grave danger. Get out of there now. Okay. So you're in grave danger. Get out of there now. Mm hmm. 
All right, so let's get the next section. All right. We're not going to play the whole trailer because a lot of it was just, you know, excitement, explosion, stuff like that. But it doesn't really test our listening comprehension. So we're specifically going to parts that do test our listening comprehension. All right, here's the next one. Let's do it. Welcome to the Townsend Agency. I run a covert group of exceptional women. Welcome to the Townsend Agency. I run a covert group of exceptional women. Welcome to the Townsend Agency. I run a covert group of exceptional women. Okay. So, first she says, welcome to the, I think she says Townsend Agency. All right, so that's the first part. Let's see. Welcome to the Townsend Agency. All right. I run a covert group of exceptional women. Okay. I run a covert group of exceptional women. All right. So covert is just a fancy word for hidden. You can't, it's not obvious to see, it's kept secret. So a covert group would be a hidden group or a secret group. Exceptional just means awesome, <laughs> incredible, wonderful, fantastic. Uh, and exceptional women in this case would be women with extraordinary skills. Probably extraordinary beauty, extraordinary physical skills, extraordinary intelligence. Mm -hmm. Let's move forward. A covert group of exceptional women. Okay. Welcome to the Townsend Agency. I run a covert group of exceptional women. Okay, so welcome to the Townsend Agency. I think that that's what it is. Townsend Agency, I run a covert group of exceptional women. All right, let's go to the next section. All right, ooh, we have an airplane, nice. All right, I'll play it three times, listen. Give me my wings. Okay, so there are two different voices in this one. The first one is when uh, you can't see who's talking. So we'll just say woman number one. And she says, uh, give me my wings. Hmm. Let's see. Give me my wings. All right, give me my wings. And it's probably going to be more informal. It's going to be like this. Give me, give me. So give me is another way to just say, uh, give me. Give me is give me. So it's common. Give me, give me this, give me that, give me everything. <laughs> it's informal English. It's very common for kids to say it as well. Give me some candy. Give me it, give me it. Mm -hmm. So let's hear it one more time. Give me my wings. All right, give me my wings. Let's go! All right, so now woman number two. It's loud because it's loud in the plane. Let's go. All right. Give me my wings. Let's go. Where do you think you're going? Uh huh. Where do you think you're going? Hmm. Where do you think you're going? You need to land this bird, Hoplin. What? All right. You need to land this bird. It's either Hoplin. Like, that must be the name of the girl, her last name or her nickname. Uh huh. And then uh, woman number one says, says what? Not like what, but like what? So I would put a question mark and an exclamation mark because she's asking a question, but she's saying it with such excitement because she's shocked. She can't believe that she has to land this bird so in other words land this bird means land this airplane right sometimes they'll call uh or they refer to the plane as the bird 
because you know it flies okay so let's see all right let's play it all through see if i did it correct later. oh yeah there's one more part <laughs> she's like later all right that's woman number two she's like later da, da, da. and then she floats out the window all right I move this over all right, let's play it. Give me my wings. Let's go! Where do you think you're going? You need to land this bird, Hoplin. What? Later! Later! Uh-huh. Okay. Next section, here we go. Ooh, a little bit longer conversation, I think, this time. All right, here we go. Sit down, keep your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. You're adorable. Jane, is that you flirting with a handsome nerd? Sit down, keep your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. You're adorable. Jane, is that you flirting with a handsome nerd? Sit down, keep your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. You're adorable. Jane, is that you flirting with a handsome nerd? Okay, so we have three people. We have the two ladies and we have the one guy. So the woman starts first. We'll call her woman. Uh, how about we'll say lady. Lady number one. All right. Sit down and put your hands where I can see them. I think that's what she said. Sit down, keep your hands where I can see them. Aha, uh -huh. sit down. This is a command. Short sentence, sit down. Keep your hands where I can see them. All right. Makes me think about when I was a police officer. I would tell people quite often to keep your hands where I can see them. Because if people are going to do something crazy or try to hurt you, they usually have to use their hands. Okay. All right. So she says, sit down and keep your hands where I can see them. Here we go. Sit down, keep your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. All right. Hmm. So there's only one man, but I'll still... Yeah, there's just one man. You're... Really not supposed... To be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. All right, that's kind of a long, wordy sentence, but let's see. Your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. Uh, huh? <laughs> you're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. So that's a really long way to say, unless you are, have clearance, unless you are accepted to be here, like you work here or you're one of the staff, you're probably not, you're not supposed to be touching things. Mm -hmm. All right, now I think lady number, number one is going to say something to reply. Supposed to be touching things again. You're adorable. <laughs> you're adorable. Uh huh. You're adorable. Uh, you're cute. Um, I think you're kind of funny and cute at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think the last one is lady number two. They must be connected by radio because... Jane, is that you flirting with a handsome nerd? Jane, is that you flirting with a, da with a handsome nerd? Is that you flirting? Whoop. With a handsome nerd? <laughs> okay, so flirting means to interact with someone in a way that makes them think that you are interested in them romantically. Okay, so if you have feelings for someone, you think someone is good looking, you feel attracted to that person, you might flirt with them. Which could be, you know, jokes, maybe little things that you say to get that person's attention, stuff like that. All right, so let's see. Let's play it through. Sit down, keep your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. You're adorable. Jane, is that you flirting with a handsome nerd? 
All right, with the handsome nerd. So handsome is another way to say good looking, attractive. Nerd is just the idea of someone who, I don't know, likes math. They like science. They're into computer stuff. Or maybe they wear the glasses. Kind of like, <laughs> kind of like these kind of glasses. And they're like, mm, hello. Mm. So it's like a nerd. But usually nerds are, they don't, you know, they're quite successful because they're sometimes very brilliant. All right. All right, let's move forward. Let's do it. Let's find it here. Next section. The best part is them taking down international criminals. It's you guys. The best part is them taking down international criminals. It's you guys. The best part is them taking down international criminals. It's you guys. Oh, how nice. All right, so we'll say uh, lady number three now. Uh, the best part isn't taking down international criminals. Ah, it's you guys. Oh, how heartwarming. All right, let's see if I did it right. The best part is them taking down international criminals. It's you guys. Uh-huh. So in other words, the best part probably of this job, of this occupation, this the best part of being a hot, sexy spy <laughs> isn't taking down international criminals. Here, taking down means to arrest them, to stop them. Uh, so if you take down a criminal, they can no longer do illegal things. So maybe they're a drug kingpin. You take them down, they can no longer sell drugs. Uh-huh. And it's you guys, right? So it's very common in English to say you guys, but refer to males or females or both. It just kind of means everyone. So it's you. It's you people. Uh huh. So if, if someone says to a group of people, hey guys, let's get down to it, let's do it. Well, the word guy is a male, but it's very common to refer to a group of people, even a group of women. Hey guys, let's do this. And it's just kind of like, hey, you all. Hey, you all. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's move to the next one. Yes. Da, 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 da. Can we have one more? Yes, we do. Okay. Let's listen. Take her to the closet. So I can just take whatever I want? Borrow. Baby. Is that an actual rule? Take her to the closet. So I can just take whatever I want? Borrow. Baby. Is that an actual rule? Take her to the closet. So I can just take whatever I want? Borrow. Baby. Is that an actual rule? Okay. So we have four different people speaking here. All right. So we'll put woman. I will just do lady number one. She says, take her to the closet. This must be where they have their, their fancy clothing, their wardrobe that's incredible. Did you see the room they were in? It's full of all, you know, shiny clothes, uniforms, disguises, stuff like that. So she says, take her to the closet. Take her to the closet. And then we see all the fancy clothing, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think lady number two says... She's like, my God, my, my God. Uh-huh. So in other words, my God is like surprised. Oh, holy cow. Holy crap. Wow. My goodness. That's incredible. <laughs> She's just surprised and shocked at how incredible the selection of clothing and accessories is. Mm -hmm. So I can just take whatever I want? So I can just take whatever I want? All right, and then lady number three is going to say, So I can just take whatever I want? Borrow. Borrow. That's British accent there. She says borrow. Okay. 
And she says, borrow. So borrow is like to lend, to give back, to take, but you return it. It's because when she says, so I can just take whatever I want. If someone says, can I just, I can take whatever I want. The understanding is you can use it, but you don't have to give it back, right? You take it, it's yours. No one else, it doesn't belong to anyone else anymore. However, borrow, the idea you, you use it and then you give it back, like a library book. Uh -huh. All right, and then I think there's lady number four who says... Is that an actual rule? Wait, is that an actual rule? Wait, is that an actual rule? Mm -hmm. Let's see, here one more time. Borrow. Is that an actual rule? Take out the closet. Oh my God. So I can just take whatever I want? Borrow. Is that an actual rule? All right. Take her to the closet. My God. So I can just take whatever I want? Borrow. Wait. Is that an actual rule? Okay. So I guess the joke is, I think she's the brand new spy or agent or whatever. And these two, her... Oh, her and her they are kind of veteran agents they veteran just means they've been there for a while and so this one doesn't know that you're supposed to give the stuff back so i guess that's the joke okay so we did lot listening comprehension mm -hmm. let's see maybe we'll go back through let me check where are we all right okay we'll just we'll review so you can hear it one more time all right, here we go. Let's hear it. Hello? You're in great danger. Get out of there now! Welcome to the Townsend Agency. I run a covert group of exceptional women. Give me my wings. Let's go! Where do you think you're going? You need to land this bird, Hoffman! What? Later! Sit down, keep your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here. You're adorable. Jane, is that you flirting with a handsome nerd? The best part is them taking down international criminals. It's you guys. Take her to the closet. Oh my God. So I can just take whatever I want? Borrow. Baby. Is that an actual rule? Okay, so we did the trailer. Wonderful. We did listening comprehension. All right, let's let's take a review. What did we accomplish in this lesson? Well, these were our goals: movie synopsis, movie trailer, and listening test. And we did the movie synopsis. We talked about like a, a brief explanation about the movie. We did the movie trailer, mm -mm -mm, and we did listening comprehension, a listening test. Okay. So remember, improve your English, become more valuable, improve your skills, whatever they are, and become more valuable as a person, meaning you can create value, you can create goodness for yourself and for other people in your life. Wonderful. If you enjoy our stuff here at YouTube, make sure to subscribe. Animation, animation. Uh huh. And if you're already subscribed, there's a little bell. Click on that icon, and then YouTube will send you a notification when we have new stuff. Okay, at the end, I'm going to show you a picture. Ah, oh, it's a nice picture. I like to end lessons on a nice, <laughs> positive vibe, right? So in this picture, I would summarize that we're looking over a picturesque valley, uh, a beautiful valley uh, with a lake and trees. There's mountains in the background. Maybe we're standing up on a cliff or on top of a mountain and we're looking down. It looks like it's a uh, fall or going to be winter there's no snow yet but i think it's cold kind of looks like the, the the pine trees are turning red so maybe their pine needles are either dying or it's a, a season change so they're going through different colors the cloud the sky is kind of cloudy we could say overcast because we can't really see any blue sky and yeah so i guess that is it for today I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, morning, wherever you are in the world. Sit down, keep your hands where I can see them. You're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here.